Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your end of December quick read. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card. But more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. It's so funny because right now I'm feeling like, like short of breath and it's weird, but it's not a bad thing. I feel like I'm hearing somebody, oh, okay, okay. I'm hearing that somebody feels like something has taken their breath away, okay? Um, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song Happy by Pharrell. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. I don't think there's anyone in the world <laughs> who's never heard that song before. But I'm going to tell you that when I heard the song, literally, the, what I heard was someone is literally annoyed with your happiness. It's like you you have a hater around you, somebody who's very, um, and I almost want to say offended that you are experiencing success it's like they're they're unhappy about that um it could be an air sign a gemini libra aquarius in the mix in in regards to the situation because i did see in a pre-shuffle the king of swords so this could be someone who is a big hater now keep in mind because i've seen the king of swords swords communication and also the mental so this person could kind of be talking about you gossiping about you behind your back and then also they can be saying like sharp cutting things in regards to your success so just pay attention to that because that is the message that i'm getting okay and in case you didn't see the last reading the way i'm going to do the quick weeds reads is i'm going to use the major icon for your card so today we are going to be using the hair font male or female doesn't matter whoever's watching we're going to use the hair font because that's the major icon for taurus okay so i'm going to give you guys a quick example let's look is at the very beginning let's find ourselves a major icon there you go so you have major icon the world card um that's resonating with a lot of different signs. Let's see if I can find a different. Okay, here we go. Well, let's just use this one. Okay, so you would, I would take the card in front of it and then the card that comes directly after that. And that would be, wow, two major arcanas. Okay, so I would, so if I was reading for Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius, I, and you know, that's why I say specific sign, right? Um, because that's too many. To be a major icon for just one sign, but you get the gist. The gist, rather. Okay. So you would have your major icon here, and whatever card comes before it, and whatever card comes after it, that is the energy for your reading. Okay. So let's get down to your reading. I'm gonna shuffle it up right three times. Some of y'all could be pregnant or getting pregnant. I just seen the Empress. Look at that. You got the Empress, and then you have the Devil. So, oh, okay. So, you know, the devil is representative of Capricorn. Capricorn season in Western astrology is December, January. So, some of you guys could be finding out because look at her. She's clearly pregnant. Some of you guys could, could yeah, because she's facing the direction of this devil card, okay? Some of you guys could be finding out in Capricorn season that you are pregnant. Also, if you are dealing with a Capricorn, you could be pregnant by this Capricorn individual, okay? Um... Yeah, Cap I'm, I'm feeling like this is a time frame because you have two major arcanas back to back showing up. Some of you guys will be finding out during Capricorn season that you are pregnant. But it may not be something that you want. Because you see how right here they're bound. They're like on chains. So some of you all may not want, you know, this wasn't anticipated or planned. So be mindful. <laughs> so be mindful of that, okay? So we're going to look for your... Wow, I didn't even get the chance to do it. Yep, something's going to happen. Here's the hair font. Here's the card that we were looking for. I didn't even have to go through the deck. And there's 78, 79 cards in this deck. So something major is coming for you guys during Capricorn season, okay? Because that's the very first card before you're a major arcana. Second, woo, 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 yeah. Somebody's getting pregnant. <laughs> Be careful, Taurus. Somebody's getting pregnant. Someone's finding out they're pregnant because you ha right here you have a strong card of desire, lust, passion. And then you have a card of desire, lust, passion, okay? Because you have the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands typically is looked at like a um, phallic symbol, like the male genitalia, okay? And 
erect, okay? So I'm telling you right now, this is a lot of passion because everyone looks at the devil card as being very menacing and it does have that type of energy, but it's also, again, about passion, desire, and lust, okay? So some of you all, if you do not want to get pregnant, be careful. Some of you all, like I said, I feel like it's going to be Capricorn season. You're going to be finding this out. Some of you all can be dealing with a Capricorn. Also, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sash, Aries, Sun, Rising, and Venus individual. Ooh, okay, so really quick, <laughs> really quick women, ladies, what I heard is, because remember I channeled the song Happy by For Real. What I heard is for some of you all, you were losing weight and getting in shape and things like that. And the minute that you start losing weight, you got knocked up. That's what I'm hearing. Look at his facial expression like, yep, I got you. So, yeah. So your your partner, your specific, uh, your your love interest could be the hater that I was picking up on. Um, also, I'm hearing something with finances could be changed also in Capricorn season. And it's going to be something major. Especially if you started a job during Leo, Sag, or Aries season. So I'm hearing specifically April, August. In November. So if you start a job in April, August, or November, you could be getting some type of raise. Is what I'm getting. Okay. As a part of the deck, so I can shuffle, you have the magician that's Virgo and that's also Gemini. And then you have the Nine of Cups. So for some of y'all, you may be very happy and you were trying to manifest some type of pregnancy. I know that for sure because you have the Nine of Cups, nine, nine months for a pregnancy, right? Some of you all, you could be finding out you're pregnant with a boy. I'm just looking at that blue curtain behind him. And yeah, this person's like, yep, I got you locked and sealed in. I'm telling you, some of you guys got a hating partner. And I'm not saying it in a negative way, but it's like you were losing weight, getting in shape, and then this person knocked you up as soon as you start losing weight and start getting your, yourself together physically. Yeah, but it's going to be something that you like. And again, remember I said, I feel like Capricorn season, for sure. A lot of you all are going to be finding this out during Capricorn season. And if you are not of age-bearing um, years, you may have a child. Who's going to, because this is a page, this is someone young, you may have a child who's going to come towards you and tell you that they're pregnant for sure. And it can be happening during Capricorn season. Yep. Because a page is young and then, um, you know, pages always come through with messages. A page is always delivering a message. Yeah, but they may not want to be pregnant because now you have nine of wands. That's the wounded warrior. And then you had nine of cups and now you have nine of wands. Definitely something in regards to pregnancy for someone. And they could be, like I said, they could be pregnant by a fire sign. Leo, Sash, Aries, Sun, Rise, and Venus. I keep hearing hater. Like, like I said, some of you all were losing weight, getting yourself together, and you were not, you know, you were not expecting pregnancy. And then for others, I'm hearing a very specific message that if this is your child or someone that you're very close to, they're not very happy with this pregnancy and this relationship was toxic because this is the devil is also about toxicity. So this relationship is toxic and they're bound now. They're bound to this person even more because there's a pregnancy in the midst. OK, so let's get a clarify for the devil and the ace of wands for Taurus, Summer, and Venus. Also, I heard that someone's first, middle or last name could be William or Williams. OK, you get the five of pentacles in reverse. More pinnacle energy, yeah. Something's going down during um Capricorn season for you guys. Someone felt left out in the cold in the past. It could be you. Because you have the five of pinnacles. Pinnacles is um Taurus. That's your energy. So if you're a May Taurus, someone could have left you out in the cold in the past. And they're going to try to come back towards you. Also, they someone may feel like you left them out in the cold. Yeah, ooh, it's a strong fire sign. And I feel like this fire sign may be shady because you have a king of wands in reverse. Anytime you have a king or a queen in reverse, you know, kings and queens are leaders. They rule. So this is someone who is taking advantage of their power in a negative way. So be mindful about that also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I keep getting that this person wants someone to be, yeah. Somebody wants someone to be attached to them, to be bound to them. <laughs> Yeah. And and this goes back to what I heard in the message with the song Happy. Somebody is your vibration is changing, you're happier, and they're they're trying to find ways to block your happiness, is what I'm picking up for some of you all. Let's get clarified for the ace of wands. Okay, you had one flip on the floor, flip down. This song from past, you guys. Yep. 
You got the Six of Cups in reverse. Now look at this energy. These are definitely, you got two people here, you got two people. Here. There's somebody returning is what I'm getting for you guys. And they don't want to see you happy, okay? So you have a devil card being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a fellow Taurus like yourself. They could be a mate Taurus. And then also, if you are a mate Taurus, I feel like you walked away from someone in the past because you see how she's walking away. And this person's trying to have get their way back in. The Five of Pentacles is a heavy card of lack loss, you know, um... Also, some type of debt. And remember, I was saying, I feel like for some of you all, during a fiery season, you may have started a job. And there's going to be some type of increase. I still, I strongly feel like that's the case. But, because see, a right does debt. And reverse is the opposite. So, some of you guys are getting some type of increase. And then for others, if you left someone, and I'm hearing a specific message for some people. If you met this person around the time of your birthday, this person's trying to come back. Also, you definitely left someone out in the cold because I'm picking it up as you. And I know that also because you had a Six of Cups. Okay, the Six of Cups is literally the card of um, soulmates. Someone from this lifetime, past lifetime. But here's the thing. Someone walked away because there was a third party for sure. You see that? You got these two here. And then in the background, you have a third party sneaking away in the background. Okay, so the third party could have been a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone rising Venus individual. Yep, because someone was too busy focused on passion, okay? Because you had an Ace of Wands being clarified by the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah. And I said this could be toxic for someone. Someone is dealing with a toxic relationship. I feel like it has to do with a fire sign. Again, Leo, Sash, Aries, someone rides to Venus. They could have possibly stepped out with a water sign. And it's all because of passion and lust. I said that also, passion and lust, okay? They could have stepped out because passion and lust, again, that phallic symbol. So a lot of you guys have someone who is not happy that you're moving on and they see you happy and now they want to come back. And it's it's like some type of, because I'm hearing triggering. Somebody is, yeah, somebody's triggered by the fact that you're moving on. You have success coming towards you. If you were struggling financially, you have success coming towards you, especially May Tauruses. And then you have someone who is very sexually attracted to you. Someone from your past who's trying to come back. Also, keep in mind, you know, this is a card of, like, children as well. Like, you know, childhood energy. So this is someone you could have known since you were six or six plus years. You could have been separated from this person for six months. Also, with this being cups, this could be June Cancer. A June cancer could be involved in your situation. Nonetheless, somebody is upset for sure. And you guys see the first card. Look at his face. Someone is upset that you are flourishing. And they are trying to get back in your good graces. Kind of to murk, murky up. You know. Step all over that. They're, they're trying to. Because both of these cards are coming up in reverse. They're trying to, they're trying to get back in your energy field. Now, for some of you guys, it could be a water sign trying to come back. But then some of you all are deciding to move towards a fire sign. Again, Leo says Aries, because keep in mind, aces are gifts from the universe and that's something brand new. So some of you all are declining because you have a six of cups in reverse. You know, that's also a card of reconciliation. It's in reverse. So if you have a water sign trying to come back towards you, you're going to decline them and you're going to have a new start with a fire sign. And you may get pregnant very quickly by this fire sign. Again, I'm also hearing something in regards to children. You have a child who's going through this. Again, if you're not um, childbearing age. Okay? So, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.